नेक्स्ट वी सी एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ फोर ईयर कोसाइन एंड साइन इंटेग्रल्स द क्वेश्चन इज दिस फंक्शन इज गिवन टू अस एफ एक्स ई टू दावर माइनस के एक्स वेयर के इज सम पॉजिटिव क्वान्टिटी एंड वी आर टू फाइंड वॉट इज द फोर ईयर कोसाइन एंड द फोर ईयर साइन इंटेग्रल रिप्रेजेंटेशन फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर फंक्शन सो फॉर दिस फंक्शन वी विल फर्स्ट चेक इट्स एग्जिस्टेंस whether the fourier cosine and sine integrals they exist or not and uh, thereafter we will calculate the series uh, integral representations so firstly we will check whether this uh, is an absolutely integral integ interval this is absolutely integral or not so for that we firstly check this limit integration integration from minus infinity to infinity modulus of f of x dx so this would be equal to what is function the function is given to be e to the power minus kx whenever your x is greater than 0 so that means our limit changes from 0 to infinity because x is positive and in that limits the value of function that is given to be e to the power minus kx and because this is a positive quantity always so we can remove this modulus sign so now we can very easily integrate this quantity what would be that it would be e to the power minus kx divided by minus k and the limits varies from 0 to infinity now you cannot directly write infinity here so we have just written b here and we take the limit b tending to infinity so this is the thing next we uh, substitute these limits and we substitute the values so e of 0 that is equal to 1 and what is e of minus kb where k tends to infinity if k tends to infinity we have 1 upon e to the power kb and k tends to infinity so we have 1 upon infinity kind something so it is 0 right so this quantity is 0 so we only have 1 by k so 1 by k because k is a positive number 1 by k is also finite number if this is finite we say this limit this integration is a finite number then we say our function that is absolutely integrable why absolutely because we consider its absolute value here so thus the improper integral it exists and it satisfies all the conditions that and therefore we can calculate the fourier cosine and sine integral representation for this particular function so the formula for fourier cosine integral representation that is given by this formula 1 by pi integration from 0 to infinity a of omega cos omega x dx so what is this coefficient a omega that is given, calculated using this formula 2 multiply by the integration of 0 to infinity f of t cos omega t dt so we substituted this value here of the given function and then cos omega t as such and then we perform the integration by parts so we'll consider this as the first function this as the second function so to as such first function as such the integration of second that would be sin omega t divided by omega and the limits from 0 to infinity minus integration 0 to infinity the derivative of this function its derivative would be e to the power minus kt multiplied by minus k so this is the derivative of that function and its integration so we can simplify this a bit so here we can substitute these limits when you substitute the limit uh, e to the power minus infinity it would the whole term would tend to zero and when you substitute the limit zero this term sin of zero will make the whole term as zero so we have zero and zero here corresponding to this terms and then we have plus k by omega as constants they are out so, and then we again perform the integration on this function and this function treating this as a first function and this as the second function so first function as such the integration of second minus cos omega t divided by omega minus integration the derivative of first function and the integration of second right so next we substitute the limits so 2 as such k by omega as such and then when you substitute infinity here you'll have 0 when you substitute 0 cos 0 is 1 so you have e to the power 0 that is also 1 so 1 by omega and then from here we have three negative so it would be one negative k by omega and then if you look at this what is this 
uh, e to the power k minus kt into cos omega t dt its integration this is where we have started that this was the value of a omega divided by 2 so this term was also there so we can substitute this value so this value becomes a omega divided by 2 so now we can uh, rearrange and solve it for a omega this side was also a omega so we can shift all these terms to the left hand side and we can club this a omega and after simplification we have the value of a omega as this particular quantity so now if a omega is this one so we can write the uh, corresponding Fourier cosine series in uh, representation so it would be f of x that would be equal to 1 by uh, 1 by pi integration from 0 to infinity a omega cos omega x d omega so we substituted its value so this is a final answer so next we would find the Fourier sine integral representation so the formula for that is this one where you have to first calculate what is b omega so b omega is given by this formula b omega is 2 integration 0 to infinity f of t sine omega t dt so this is the formula we substitute the value from uh, uh, of the given function so it is e to the power minus k t and then we can integrate it by part so first function as such the integration of second Hanji. ma'am so we can solve this integration you could also use this formula of e to the power minus a b sine b t d t right so we can also do the uh, integration by parts so when you solve this and we substitute all the limits so you have the value of b omega similar to the previous case as 2 omega divided by omega square plus k square so this is the value of b omega that we obtain from here so the Fourier sine integral representation for this function becomes this one so you just substitute the value of b omega which you have, which we have just calculated so this is the Fourier sine integral representation of the given function so next is uh, we should uh, note here that the sine integral here it does not exist for the value of x is equal to 0 that is the function at the point x is equal to 0 does not exist so this is one observation right and the other thing is that this integral the, that is the Fourier sine integral representation and this integral the Fourier cosine series integral they both these both integrals they are known as the Laplace integrals so this is one notation nomenclature so this is the Laplace integral <laughs>